Alright, so, uh, we are back again. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. And now, I guess we're just... Uh, we're finally beginning our quest! So, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Petra's place, there we are. Um, I guess we just do everything that's... Uh, in here and we're already finding three coins, that's good. Uh, did you know that some of the warriors of Vale live in a cabin near Mount Ayla? They're just up the road, still looking out for the world. Mm -hmm. I sure do know them. Don't forget to visit our Synergy Training Grounds, it's a must-see for new adepts. You can e experience the epic journey of the warriors of Vale as a four theme park as oh as four theme park areas okay yeah we gotta check that out okay but first we're here at this place <laughs> Finally, Patcher's place. I'm always amazed by how many things Patcher packs in here for sale. Uh, yeah, it's amazing. No, get me out of here. That's right, I forget that Terrell isn't welcome at Patcher's place. Uh, just update me on this information. <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Who knows why Pasha has it out for Tyrell, but I think we're just going to have to deal with it. <laughs> Are you crazy? Don't blame me, I didn't want to come back here. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm getting out of here before it's too late. You three over there, I'm Patra, this is my place, what can I... what can I do you for? What? Do you for? Huh? <laughs> what? I'm so confused with the syntax right now. Hey, you're... The exact kid! Matthew, right? Yeah. Well, uh, Isaac's kid is welcome here anytime. Weren't you your dad just here yesterday? What brings you back so soon? Hmm, not here with your father. Odd. Where could Isaac be? <laughs> Hello again, Petra. Now, uh, where do I know you from? Is she traveling with you, Matthew? Yeah, she sure is. Really? Wait a minute. I remember who you are. You're Karis, uh, Ivan's daughter. Mm. That's right, Petra. I've been visiting here on business from my father. Hmm, what a smart kid. Just like Isaac said. Hmm. Uh oh. I just now spotted you. What's up? Uh, hi there, Petra. You! Garrett's son! What are you doing here? Come back to make more trouble? Trouble? Me? Here? That's ancient history. Ancient history? I remember it like it was yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Your stupid synergy nearly burned down my store. I want you out of here. And you others, finish your shopping and be on your way. Hmm. Mm. So that's why he can't stand you, Tyrell. You nearly burned down the store. Wow. 
Is there any way you haven't made a mess of things, Taro? What I did here happened forever ago. I didn't mean to do it, but Petra never... Never ever forgets. Ooh, now I'm mad. Ooh, now I'm mad too. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Yelling isn't helping, we need to calm him down. Snap out of it, Tyro. Bam, push him to the ground. Ouch, that hurt. I hope that did hurt, Tyro. It's pretty stupid losing your temper like that. You might have scorched this whole place. We can't afford that. <laughs> the damages, the casualties. I I'm sorry, but we adepts aren't supposed to use our powers in public. Well, we're just starting out. It's our responsibility as adepts to make sure we never hurt people. Our fathers are concerned about how people view synergy. They must see it as helpful, not hurtful. Burn your own reputation if you must, but have a care for how that would imp for meh. But have a care for how that would impact Garrett. Okay, fine. What did he say? I can't hear him. I said I heard you, so just drop it. You're going to hold it in check, Tyra? No synergy in front of strangers anymore, okay? Now you're just starting to nag. Typical. Just typical. Oh, come on. Don't get insulted now. Okay, no synergy in front of strangers. Now can we drop it, please? Consider it dropped. But we do have a problem. I doubt Patcher will give us any helpful information now. <laughs> what do you think we should do, Matthew? Uh, <laughs> how am I supposed to answer that question through emojis? Um, I don't know. Uh, it'll be fine. We should take it easy? Good idea. Maybe Patcher will see Terra in a new light if we, if we keep calm. You guys really are looking out for me. I'm not sure if I deserve such good friends. Okay, uh... Oh, Terra. You... You know we like you. Just the way you are. You can come around. That is, if you can keep your fireballs under control. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Well then, leader, lead on. Alright. You didn't see anything. Well, survivors know that there are four kinds of synergy. Want to learn more? Um, sure. Tell me something I don't know. Adapts generally master a specific kind of synergy based on uh, based in fire, water, earth, or wind. You have three of the four uh, ki kinds of adepts in your party, so you're mostly covered. You may have also heard of the force of alchemy that has been revived. The ancients use alchemy to combine the four elemental energies to do amazing things. The survivors from Vale and their descendants can all use synergy, so it's pretty common around here. But adepts are still rare around Angara. You keep your powers under wraps, or you might attract unwelcome attention. How could it be so unknown after like three decades and like even before that? 
herbs and restorative items are essential for long journeys. So stock up. If your party falls in defeat, you lose more than the cost of a few cure gifts. Uh, Petra stocks a wide variety of goods here. I always walk away with more than I intended. I love that. Your mothers and fathers, the warriors of Vale, saved the world from ruin. Unfortunately, the rest of the world only sees the Golden Sunday unleashed as a horrific catastrophe. I'm sure your dads told you about how the Golden Sun changed their land. It shook the world so violently that it reshaped everything. Mount Elif and our home Vale were devastated and new mountain ranges divided up all of Angara. Yeah, the entire geography just changed. Um, yeah. Hello. I might have been a little out of line when I lost my temper. Sorry, my friend, guys. Of course, I'm glad to help you gear up for your trip. Okay. So let me walk you through the different kinds of goods I'll sell. Okay. Let me guess. Okay, starting from the side. See the home sign? Check in there to stay the night. When you stay at inns, you will recover uh, all your hit points and synergy points. You'll leave fully refreshed. Next, see the shield sign? That's my armor shop. Always equip the best protective gear you can find to survive the battles ahead of you. When you see the sword sign, that means you're at a weapon shop. Every time you visit a new town, check uh, what new weapons are available locally. Finally, the herbal leaf sign means you're at an item shop. <laughs> uh, what? Fledgling heroes should stock up on lots of herbs and other restorative items. Okay. Now at any kind of store, you can also find rare one-of-a-kind things in the artifact section. If you sell or throw away any such rare weapons, armor, items, you can always buy them back later on. That's the tool. So I understand what internet shops have to offer. Yes. Then standard any shops are into business, business with me. Okay. Let me just uh, steal this bread right in front of you. Um. Um. <laughs> I almost thought I got the fucking lock there. That would have been weird. Okay, um. So, bread. Okay. I guess we can use it on carrots. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll just uh, use it on carrots. Uh. Okay, um, yeah, what do we have here? Okay. Okay, uh, I could get two of them. But I need to check if here's something nice for us. Uh, right, okay. Okay, a bow. That's cool, but 300. Uh, can't really afford that right now. We could buy two of these. 
but that would all but that's like all we have hold on let's buy one for now yeah no uh Oops, no, 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 no. I didn't need to do that, I didn't mean to do this. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that that that's uh that's what we can do. Okay. A wife who came back from a long journey told me the strangest news. The continent has been expanding since the time the golden sun happened thirty years ago. Okay. Okay, now we're at this side of this place. For an ele elixir. Antidote, okay. You're on a quest given to you by Isaac and Garrett. Well, they're a hard act to follow, aren't they? You're heading down through the Goma Highlands, right? After you cross the highlands, you'll reach the lumberjack area called Covers Camp. The camp is at one end of the only valley that cuts through the impassable Goma Mountains. Okay. Yeah. The Goma Mountains. Uh. Synergy Training Grounds, this area is now essential for helping new adepts prove the skill with synergy but it's just as essential for showing young adepts what the boys in Vale did on their epic journey 30 years ago uh, okay uh, then you should be able to get through it used to be lowlands until the golden sun shook things up the men of Covers Camp have tried to tame this wild area, but you'll need you'll still need synergy to pass through. Oh, and look for the sky gondolas the lumberjacks have set up. They make travel far easier. Okay. <laughs> the elders who lived in Vale say that Salt Sanctum was hidden from the world. That is hidden where Vale used to be at the foot of Mount Ayla. Uh But after the Golden Sun event happened, everyone found out about Sol Sanctum. I would you look at that. Hey, do you know about the synergy training grounds here? Yes. Good. It's so it's so great that the grounds offer training. By letting, letting us experience the epigenome of the warriors of Vale. <sighs> warriors of Vale, that's actually a bit of a <laughs> difficult word for um, German native speakers. Because we tend to get these. Uh, V sounds and stuff mixed up.
There's a beautiful site in the highlands known as the Con Konpa Ruins, but it's hard to reach them, even for strong adepts. Okay. Bilibin stands at the far side of uh, the one the one valley that passes from the highlands through the Goma Mountains. I think as the knows Lord McCoy, uh, that is, he was a lord there, now his son has taken over. Okay. Bilibin is Lord McCoy's territory, way off to the east through the mountain valley. Its guards are strict about who comes and goes there. I have no desire to set foot in Bilibin. Okay. Sounds like things happen there. Okay. That's just the um, sanctum thing. There's probably nothing. I'm not gonna look. I don't know why if that's gonna stay there. The golden sun shook up all side of the continent pretty badly. If you could leave the Goma Highlands, then the lumberjacks of Kawas camp tamed the new villain wilderness, and they built a bridge that goes to Bilibin. Okay. You warriors look pretty green, so stay on the roads wherever you travel in the big world. You'll probably suffer worse attacks if you stray off the beaten path. Most people take the valley route to Bilibin through the otherwise impassable Goma Mountains, but powerful adepts can access a second road that's hidden below the Kampa ruins. Hmm. It's just checking. Oil drop, okay. Cool, cool. Oh, it actually still is there. Alright, um... Okay, was there some area I missed? Uh, I didn't go here. Your father Isaac was... Very handsome. All the young women from Vale couldn't take their eyes off of him. Why are you telling me this? <laughs> it smells of freshly baked goods. Most people in Wired have no idea that Vale was sacrificed for the sake of the world. Hmm. Okay. Hear anything? Just beds. Okay. Right. Okay. Now we're back here. Okay. Then uh, let's check out these training grounds, right? Hey, look at me! Can you make it up? You'll need to know about. You need to know. Uh, you need to know how to make it through training. What? Climbing a tree? Okay. Let me just. Do this in the meantime. If you're going through the Goma Mountains, you'll pass near the contour ruins. 
They're amazing, so if you want to visit them, be sure to go to south of Cover Scam. You then need to get through the road gate to reach the ruins, but it's worth all the trouble. Hold on. Most of Angara leaves us all in peace on this side of the Goma Mountains, but they say all that might change because of the discovery of the Konpa ruins. Some countries across Angara don't like the Vale refugees being in control of such an ancient place. Okay. Is it kind of weird how they're like saying, oh, uh, it's such an ancient place, blah blah blah. But like knowing the previous games, it's just kind of like, we never heard of that place. <laughs> it just kind of showed up. Alright, let's uh, climb down this vine and grab that uh, genie. The master genie forge joined you, it's set to Karis, okay. I don't want it set to Karis, I want it set to Taro. Speaking of which... I just like it that way better, okay? <laughs> it's always been like that, you just don't do that. Whoops. My dears, be sure to pass all four areas of the Sinji training grounds, otherwise you'll find yourselves coming back before long. The gatekeeper near the Kampa ruins will turn you back if you haven't finished the tests. Why? Why would you know that? The training grounds is too fun to experience just once. You can run through again and again, and you'll even get a neat reward if you complete it more than once. Okay, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I guess we do it twice, actually. Uh, I heard that the words of Vale can pass the test in no time flat. Isaac must be awesome, must be an awesome warrior if that's true. It's just a training ground. Chill. There's n there's the talk of a dangerous vortex inside a cave at the Compa ruins. It's said to suck up synergy how we're vaulting. Let me just, uh, whoops. <laughs> Let me just save. For no reason. Just as a psychological thing. There are synergy training grounds where you can test your, uh, these, whatever. While following in the historic footsteps of the warriors of there. Will you take the challenge? Um, yes. Oh, it's been so long since I've been there, so... Hope we make it in time. Time to begin the rewards of I Live the legend! Okay. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Mercury area. The first area covers Isaac's quest to get to the first of the lighthouse that lit up the golden sun, the Mercury house, uh, lighthouse. Uh, blast the enemies to blaze a trail forward. Okay.
<laughs> Speed run. Okay, uh, move the log, I guess. Well, it's a block. I mean, we move the block to move the log. Uh, head trade from Kolima Forest, find his friendly face. No holy tree should look like that. Okay, let's do that then. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh. No. Uh. Oh, that's ruining. That's really ruining the speed on her. Huh? <laughs> So much for shaving off these seconds. Okay, gotcha. Citrus is toast now. Okay, that was the first area. Let's uh, continue to the next one. This area might look like some sort of wacky attraction, but it's no walk in the park. You will need to solve its puzzles in order to reach the Venus lighters. Okay. Okay. We we can manage. <laughs> so the second area covers the quest to the Venus lighthouse down the eastern side of Angara then into Gondo one. When the Mercury Lighthouse was lit, the elemental power of water gushed across the world. Did it? Uh, read the rails to the next obstacle section, switch the tractors were needed. Okay, so. Okay, we need to turn this one. We also need to... okay, we also need to turn this one. Um... And... this one... Okay. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, okay, looking good. Defeat the Kraken, the Kraken of the Karagul Sea. Alright. No, wait. Okay, still hit, still hit. Okay, good. Getting closer now. Oh, 
All right. No, 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 no. I, no, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, this. Okay, now we're cooking. No! Oh, get that. Nice! We did it. The release of power from the first two lighthouses radically altered the landscape for the warriors. So your greatest <coughs> hardship will be finding some kind of safe path to the Jupiter lighthouse. Alright. I will remember this. There's some nasty shit going on. This area revisits the Jupiter Lighthouse quest which led from Indra to Oceania. Here the heroes met Piers of Lemuria. Oops. Funny thing is, in the German version, uh, Pierce's name is uh, Aaron. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, ancient Lemuria felt a ruin in part because of the brutality of Poseidon, but how could it be possible to defeat the sea god? Yeah, uh, we assembled the trident. Make the Gabomba statue tongue sticker. Oh, yeah. That the that statue was such a wacky place. All right, simple enough. Oh, oh. no, I didn't. Uh, can I just do this? Okay, I don't have to do it all the way through, so... Assemble the trident of Unco, then defeat the secret Poseidon. Okay. Oh, it's so slow. What? Oh, come on. <laughs> mm, come on. Let me... <laughs> let me on the platform. No! Oh my god. Can't be serious. Okay. <sighs> okay, <laughs> there really is nothing that I 
not much that I can say about this here. I really don't know. Man, look at Poseidon, he's just got his fists out. I mean, he was quite the tough enemy because he has that one skill. Uh, how, what do you mean this didn't hit? Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I already hit him. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, I I don't know what the skill is called in English. I forgot. I think it's something like watery grave or something. I'm not sure. But I mean, I mean the name alone is cool. <laughs> Just oh, come on. Now you tell me that didn't it? What? Okay, then then we just do it again. I mean, if you translate the German name from the attack directly. Uh, and in German, it's uh, Nasser's Grab. It it literally just means wet grave. <laughs> right, okay. The war is crossed harsh extremes to reach the first three lighthouses, but the fourth was the harshest of all. You must slog through the snow and ice to get to the Mars lighthouse. And then you must slay a dragon. Okay. <laughs> I sure have to do that. It's a golden sun game after all. Uh, okay. Animus artifacts gave the hero's ship the power of flight, allowing passage over the icy ocean and to the Mars lighthouse. The Golden Sun event was triggered when all four lighthouses were lit, fully restoring alchemy to the world. Mm -hmm. What does it say? Uh, prove your worth to the incarnation of Mars, then ascend to the lighthouse. Okay. Um. Wait, what? There we go. Um, okay. Just do a whirlwind here. Okay, going smooth. Okay. 
Okay, let's just tread carefully here. Fast enough. No, 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 <laughs> I don't think we can do it fast enough. Let's see. Come on. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Okay, synergy well restored. Okay, we'll just do it like this then. I'm sure it'll be fine. A dim dragon appeared. Um, what is that? Boost party attack. Okay. Boss fight. Okay, normal effective. Scary jeans. But unaffected. Okay. Summon. Just do the same here. Yeah. Doesn't do very much damage, but I will. Okay, fire seems to be very effective. We. Oui. Uh. Okay, let, let's struggle. How much the fuck can you do? Yeah, whatever. Well, it's, it's some damage. Sizzle breath. Ooh, 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 ooh. I also like to move dangerously. Oh, I, I did it. We broke the thing. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, level 5. Level 5. Level 5. You gotta not. Cool, I guess. Congrats, you did it. GG. Which chest would you like to open? Uh, does it? I, I think it doesn't actually matter the first, the first round. So we just do that. 
gate card. You made it through training. Now you possess a gate card. You need that pass. You need that to pass through the gate to the Kanpa ruins. That's uh, convenient. Okay. Um, I'll go to the inn first, and as I said, I will do that again because I think that final thing there with the battle is gonna be slightly different. And yeah, that's actually everything. Also, you get just a different. You then actually get another item. And yeah, but I guess I've just uh, cut that part. So I'll pause the recording and come back to you when we get to that battle again. And yes. See you then, see you then. Uh, okay, we're back. <laughs> and uh, you can already see a slight difference here. Oh, what is it? It's overwhelming aura. It's the uh, Dim Dragon Plus. Um, hold on. Just kind of ruin the mood right now. Uh, there's a certain thing that I did uh, some time ago on my uh, Twitter. And uh, let me just find it real quick. Uh, I say real quick and I can't find it. Um, it's um, about this very specific enemy, anyways. Actually, it was also the um, actually it was about the previous version, to be honest. But I mean, whatever. Okay, I I think I found it. Let me just. Uh... <laughs> Let me just show it to you real real quick and then we can do the fight, okay? Where we can have a little bit of fun. I'm sure we I'm sure we can. Uh okay, okay, okay. Yes, that's all, that's all, that's all you need to know. Now let's fight. Um, we're in a little bit of a disadvantage here, because Tyrell doesn't have that much um, synergy left, but... Okay, we can handle this. We can handle this. We're, we're pros, okay? And I also like to live dangerously. Jin burp. I'm sorry. Drains. Yeah, that's unfortunate. No, well, but I'd rather have that weird status thing than some attack because we don't have um, a full team healing synergy right now. But I think Karis learned that at level 6 or something. But she is at level 5 right now, so yeah, not much we can do here. <laughs> Just try that again. I guess.
Because the Mars summon should do some good damage. <sighs> Scary Jinx. He's followed by Death Spirits. Were well, you gonna kill just children out here? I thought these were training grounds for green adepts. Come here with a death spell. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just gonna defeat it before uh, we die. And that would be good. <laughs> that would be very nice. Thank you very much. I don't know how much HP that thing has, but... Oh hey! Are we done? Oof. Nice. Okay. Uh, problem solved. Uh, the Death Spirit will hopefully leave us now. <laughs> Level 6. Level 6. Level 6. Uh... And I got a knot. Another one. And now I can choose the other chest. Very cool. Okay. And what is it? Ooh, some water of life. Oh, that's very good. That's very nice. All right, uh... Yeah. That was that, actually. Wait, uh, who should I give it to? Let's just give it to Tara for now. And the dodge, here. Um, I mean, we have Cure, and she has Fresh Breeze now, which is some, like, like that synergy line, Fresh Breeze, that's so goaded, actually. Like, in the earlier ones, you had, uh, for example, Mia with Wish, but then you only got Wish, like, after, uh, four? Uh, Mercury Genie? So, like, having... Having a full party heal synergy, like, right at the very beginning, that's useful as fuck. Speaking of which, uh, uh let's just go to the inn again, it's, it's, it's cheap. Speaking of money, we can afford the short bow now. <laughs> I don't know if I should. I think there's a much better item later on, like, like very soon actually. But... I don't know. It's 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 three points for attack. Uh, also, I'm just biased because a bow weapon just sounds so cool. Okay. <laughs> um. I mean, whatever. Um, whatever. I, I, I want to have some fun. 
um, with like the previous Golden Sun games, they didn't have bow weapons. So like I really just wanna e enjoy having a bow weapon. I mean, realistically speaking, wielding a bow um, is not that simple. It does require some, um, uh, you know, like your back, shoulder area or something, uh, um, it's gonna be shredded as fuck, if, if that's what I can call it, I'm not sure, um, yeah. Um, so there was this. The Synergy Training Grounds, the, the the other thing, Petra's place thing. We already ma mastered the double shot. What? Cool. Okay. Um. So. Yeah. Like, we can look at this place and be like, what? What is this? Express trip across the highlands for woodsmen only. Carver. So <laughs> it's just his name. Yeah, we can't reach it from here. That's why we have to go to the other thing over here and a little bit of rain, a little bit of wind actually okay we see a little bit of winds um, elevating these things and there's a Jupiter genie and it's just vibing. Alright. Um, I'll stop the recording here though. It's already over an hour and... Um, yeah. We're just uh, taking small steps forward, I guess. So, um, next part... This area, I guess and maybe some more we'll see so yeah until uh, next time see ya